Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar on Hathwick College MSM Launch eSummit 2021 Live. I would like to welcome all the attendees who have joined through Facebook and through Zoom for, uh, and those who would be viewing this later on also. So MSM is excited to have partnered with Hathwick College and will want all MSM affiliated agents to get a glimpse of what Hathwick College has to offer for your students and uh, can turn into their future leaders and experience one of the best student lives in US. Our attendees are on the process of joining the webinar. In the meantime, on behalf of all of us in Hathwick College and MSM, I hope your families, your colleagues are all safe and well during these extreme times caused by the second wave of the outbreak. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen from all parts of the world. I would like to thank you all for taking your time, time out and being here today with us for this exciting launch e-summit. My name is Jim George, Manager Global Marketing Office, overseeing US institutions at MSM, and I'll be your moderator for today's webinar. I'm delighted and pleased to introduce today's facilitators, Dr. Patricia Eldelny, Director of uh, Collaboration and Innovation. Dr. Pat Patricia, who's uh, uh, the Director for Global Education, and Caitlin, who is the Administrative Assistant for Global Education. A uh, well, uh, heartily welcome to both, uh, to all of you for joining this webinar. Before I hand over the mic to Dr. Patty, I will run through the housekeeping requirements that are needed for today's event and the Zoom webinar platform. As a reminder, everyone is currently muted and we'll encourage you to type in your questions and comments throughout the presentation in the Q&A session present in the control panel. Later on, after the presentation, we will have a brief moment for the Q&A session, at which point you will also be encouraged to type in all your queries. In case you're facing any technical issues, please feel free to drop in a message in the chat box. This webinar is recorded and will be posted on our YouTube channel afterwards. For those who have just joined in, welcome to today's webinar on Hathwick College MSM Launch eSummit 2021 Live. So without further ado, let's kickstart things off by welcoming our presenter. Dr. Patti, over to you. Thank you so much, Jim. I would also like to echo Jim's welcome to everyone that is joining us today. We know that these are unprecedented times and we hope that everyone is safe and well. We're also looking forward to a day at a time when we won't have to be so concerned about the COVID-19 pandemic and where we can once again travel easily and engage in the activities that are so important to all of us. So at Hartwick, we're looking forward to welcoming students to our campus um, once uh, we're able to do that, which we, we hope will be very soon in, in the coming day. So in this webinar, we plan to let you know about our wonderful and welcoming community, about the academic offerings that we have at Hartwick, and as Jim mentioned, about the tremendous student experience that we offer at Hartwick College. Uh, I'll be joined in this presentation by Dr. Sagasti Supis, who is our Global Education Director, and by Caitlin Huma, who is the Administrative Assistant in the Global Education Office. I'll be taking the lead in much of the presentation, but both of my colleagues will be with us throughout and will be available for the Q&A at the end of the webinar. So to start with, we'll just say welcome to Hartwick. Our tagline is here you'll belong and as an institution we take our responsibility to welcome very seriously. Our campus is located in a very beautiful place and um, we take our responsibilities as hosts for our international students, guests, and our full-time U.S. students very seriously. So we hope this image of the, the beautiful view from the top of our campus will make all of you on the webinar feel welcome as well. Next slide, please, Jim. Hartwick is a small liberal arts college, which is local, which is residential experience. And our promise to all of our students is that our, our educational experience will uh, provide an opportunity for everyone to succeed wherever it is they end up in the world after their experience at Hartwick. So we make a promise to each and every student that they have a customized experience that taps into their talents and their hopes and aspirations so that they can become uh, fully ready to enter into the big wondrous world. Um, 
Jim, it appears that we might be, thank you. I was gonna say uh, automatic timer. So uh, the campus itself is a very special place and um, that's, it's special both geographically and because of the opportunities that we provide for students during their time at Hartwick. We're a small and very intimately connected community where students get to know one another, they get to know our colleagues in the Global Education Office, and they have close and intimate relationships with their professors who help guide them along the way. Next, please, Jim. We're physically located in the upstate region of New York. Uh, as you can see from this map, we're just about in the central portion of New York State. We're located in the college town of Oneonta, uh, which, which means that our students have access to all of the local resources which are available to the whole community. In fact, Hartwick and the neighboring State University of New York campus are really the heart of Oneonta. And so when we say that it is a college town, uh, what that means is that the college, Hartwick College, is really the cultural and social center of the whole experience in our region. It is a very beautiful place with great access to the outdoors, the mountains, the foothills, the lakes, the trails, but we're also just a few hours away from the major metropolitan centers of the Northeast of the United States. We're just three hours away from Boston, and from New York City. And both of those are accessible by public transport through the form of bus lines and the train system. So we like to say that at your new home at Hartwick, you have the best of both worlds, a safe, convenient, welcoming small town in the heart of a beautiful environmental area and direct access to major urban centers for research, for educational and uh, recreational opportunities as well. A little bit later in the presentation, Caitlin will be talking with us about some of the travel opportunities that are available to international students to take advantage of this wonderful geography nearby. Next, please. So next, we're going to talk just a little bit about the pillars of our on-campus experience so that all of our colleagues can get a sense of what daily life is like at Hartwick College for our undergraduate students. Um, so we have three main points that we'd like to make here and share the sort of essential parts of the Hartwick Hawk experience. Next, please, Jim. Of course, our primary focus as an educational institution is on our academic excellence. We are a world-class small liberal arts college that is ranked nationally in the top 100 institutions in the country in the U.S., we have cutting edge laboratories and facilities in the sciences, in the social sciences, in the arts and humanities with excellent um, facilities with respect to the arts, uh, multiple theaters, performance spaces, a fabri fabrication lab and innov innovation stations throughout campus, and more importantly, world class faculty, which really help our students to engage in the core enterprise that is our work which is our undergraduate education. But education isn't the only part of what we do at Hartwick as a small liberal arts college. We provide a 24 hour a day, seven day a week learning experience for students along their social, emotional and personal growth as well. Next slide, please. So in addition to our educational opportunities, students play during their time at Hartwick. Over a third of our students engage in NCAA sports during their time on campus. Uh, we have 17 different club sports, uh, sorry, NCAA sports uh, that students engage in for both women and men. And attending sporting events is a very popular activity for our non-athletes as well. There's a lot of pride and team spirit among Hartwick students. They show up to support one another at athletic events, at educational events, during the various clubs and other activities that happen on campus. So when we say that our students play, we don't only refer to athletics, but also to the idea that the co-curricular experience is as important as the curricular experience on our campus. Our students are incredibly active and engaged in service learning opportunities, engagement with the local community, volunteer efforts, student clubs ranging from esports to crafting and art clubs, various language clubs and culture clubs on campus. 
And so we recognize as an institution that we need to invest not only in world-class educational opportunities, but in world-class social activities as well. We're very proud to say that we have a large and very talented staff working with students to make sure that their social and emotional opportunities are as robust as the educational opportunities which the college provides. Next, please. So the combination of education and an ability to grow socially and emotionally results in a tremendous growth throughout the time that students are with us at Hartwick College. We work very hard to provide a welcoming environment where students naturally connect with one another and also with staff and faculty during their journey with us. Whether you're a three-year student or a four-year student, an important measure for us of the success of our student body is their ability to make connections with one another, social connections, emotional connections, and academic connections. We cultivate these opportunities in a variety of ways, including uh, through travel, both domestic travel and international travel for our US students and, inter and domestic international students alike. We also cultivate this through intentional cohort building opportunities on campus. These start at orientation, which we call WIC Week, because we are Hartwick, um, and extend all the way through to the SOAR capstone, which happens in students' senior year. So taken together, the academics, the co-curricular experiences, and the intentional support for emotional and social growth, we think, um, are what really describe the full Hartwick College experience. Next, please. This is And so here we have a, real, a short video, which we hope will give a nice overview of what daily life is like for Hartwick Hawks. This is Hartwick College. And great news, you're going to be one of us in August. So I bet you're wondering what it's like to be a student here. Well, it can be a lot of things. Like one night, you might head to your RA's program, grab a slice of free pizza, and play awesome games with your new friends. You could stay after to talk to your RA about choosing housing for next year and picking a roommate. Or maybe one day you'll have a super big chem test to study for, and you'll stay up super late to study for it. But then, on your way to class, you stumble across the massage chair set up on the Dewar balcony. Ah, perfect. The student-run Hartwick Campus Activities Board puts on free events like this all the time. And if you show up to Bingo, a Hartwick favorite, you might be lucky enough to win the biggest thing of cheese balls you've ever seen. Some of us come from big cities with lots of people, and some from small towns where a lot of people look a lot alike. Hartwick is a place with all kinds of people, and plenty of ways to get to know each other better. Like Carnival, a celebration of the diversity of humanity or safe zone training, where you can learn about LGBTQ issues and how to be a better ally. Or the Women's Center, or HIA, the Hartwick Identity Alliance. There are so many events and activities open to the whole campus, and you don't have to go looking for them. Text messages and announcements will be coming your way. After enjoying some of Hartwick's world-famous chicken nuggets one day, you might want to grab your roommate and check out the different Greek organizations on campus. Hartwick sororities and fraternities become friends and family, and they make their mark on the community, volunteering at the food shelter, raising money for St. Jude's Hospital, and helping in the nearby animal shelter. They also organize blood drives, service projects, and social events that everyone seems to love. Students here also love the outdoors. Our 425-acre campus rises up Oyarin Hill for a 30-mile view across the Susquehanna Valley. You can take the free shuttle out to Pine Lake, check out the environmental campus, and go canoeing or kayaking. If you can't get enough, you can live there in the cabins, close to the lake and hiking trails, plus a climbing wall and high ropes course. It's only 15 minutes away from our main campus, but it feels like a whole other world. And if you want to give back, we have that too. To connect with our campus and community needs, check out the student-run Office of Community Involvement and Volunteerism. Yeah, it'll look great on your resume, but volunteering just feels really good. Give more than 200 hours to the community, and you'll even get service cords to wear at graduation. On those days that you wake up feeling not so great without so much as a band-aid, that's where the Perella Health Center comes in. No car, no problem. It's a quick walk across campus, and it's super easy to set up a visit with a counselor or the nurse practitioner. 
If you have to get off campus for an appointment or to pick up a prescription, Hartwick's Health Squad will give you a ride for free. We've all heard of the Freshman 15, right? Well, if you decide that's not for you, you can hit up the Campbell Fitness Center a few times a week. Our Director of Wellness and her team of student personal trainers are right there if you need them to show you the equipment and give you insider tips. If you're up for it, sign up for a free spin class one week and a Zumba class and an HIIT course the next week. After a great workout, you might just be in the mood for an iced caramel macchiato at John Christopher's Cafe, just across Frisbee Field. One day, you'll probably have just one of those days. You know, where you accidentally lock your keys and ID card in your room. But then, lucky for you, campus safety is around 24-7 to let you back in after classes are out. Officers can even offer you an escort if you ever feel uncomfortable. It's good to know they're always there for you, walking campus and responding when needed. Just making sure we're all safe. So, whether you're the type of student who does great in a big study group, or the type who likes to study on your own, Hartwick has the environment to support you. And all of this is just a little of what it's like to be a student at Hartwick. We hope that that video has given you a little bit of a taste of daily life on campus, uh, and also an opportunity to experience a little bit of the culture and the vibe of Hartwick College. It's a very upbeat and welcoming place with so many opportunities for students to engage socially, academically, intellectually, professionally, personally. Um, there's always so much going on to choose from. So next we'd like to focus a little bit more specifically on what we feel sets us apart from other institutions, particularly what sets us apart for our international students and the opportunities that coming to Hartwick provides for them. Next, please. We'll start with a welcome from the president of Hartwick College. I think Dr. Dragovich in this message really sets the tone for the way that we feel about welcoming people from all over the world and all over the globe. We're a small community where students know the president uh, on a first name basis and are welcome in her office um, uh, uh, every week. And so we hope that this message of welcome from her will really help you to understand how excited she is to welcome interna more international students to join us. Hello, my name is Margaret Dragovich and I'm the president of Hartwick College. When I joined the Hartwick community 13 years ago as its president, I was truly impressed. Impressed by the nurturing commitment to students that I saw demonstrated by Hartwick faculty and staff, impressed by the quality of the academic program that combines broad-based education with practical experience, impressed by the phenomenal beauty of our campus with its 35-mile view into the Susquehanna Valley, and impressed with the truly welcoming nature of this community. What I've found is what you'll find. At Hartwick, there is room for all points of view and students from all backgrounds. As we have so many times during the college's 224 year history, Hartwick has evolved to assure that our approach to education is contemporary and relevant and will prepare our graduates for success. At Hartwick, you'll have access to world-class educators, a vibrant campus life and a campus-based residential experience. And because of our proximity to large cities located on the East Coast of the United States, you'll actually have the best of both worlds, a comfortable and reassuring place to live and study while on campus with access to cities like Boston and New York. We love having students from around the world on our campus. And the best time in my day is the time I spend with Hartwick students. I hope to meet and spend time with you very soon. Welcome to Hartwick College. The president speaks for all of us at Hartwick in saying that we look forward to welcoming many more international students to our community. Next slide, please, Jim. And so before we hear directly from one of our international students, I'm going to turn the microphone over to the amazing Caitlin Huma, who's going to talk with us about the Office of Global Education, the services, supports, and activities that they provide for our international students.
Caitlin? Hello. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much, Patty. I just want to echo Patty and also President Dragovich, just saying a huge welcome to everyone. And we're really excited to be able to uh, open up our office and our campus to our amazing international students. Uh, so the Office of Global Education, our goal is to provide our international students with uh, like everywhere from their immigration advising to uh, welcoming them at the airport, picking them up and bringing them to campus for their orientation for that we have specifically for our international students. And then once they come on campus, uh, we also provide uh, various different programming for them. We have a very active international club and other clubs that are internationally focused. And together we plan events such as uh, like this Thursday, there's a field day that's co-run by our African Student Association and the International Club. And then we're also having like a celebration dinner for our graduating students on Saturday. Uh, so. We also have like different uh, like cultural festivals and our annual Taste of Hartwick, where students can prepare dishes from their um, home countries and share it with the, the campus community. And we also try to help students explore both the New York area, so some local cities and like Boston, New York City, and take them like apple picking or, or do different things. And uh, through our office, students also have the opportunity to explore uh, even going to San Francisco or other parts of the US through our different fellowships. And we also have a lot of funding available for uh, international internships and uh, independent research that students can do in different countries. And we've found that many of our international students tend to be uh, some of our most active and uh, involved students, and they often receive these fellowships and scholarships. Uh, for example, we have our annual January term programs that go to different countries and several of our international students have received scholarships to study in uh, countries such as Thailand or Rwanda, South Africa, uh, Spain and and such. And we also have on campus fellowships like the Cyrus Mary and one of our students from India who she just uh, received uh, the fellowship to uh, conduct different programming about India and help uh, our uh, Hartwick students understand more about her culture and background. Uh, yeah, so next I'd like to just uh, share this video that was um, recorded by one of our students from Vietnam. She's a first year nursing major and she's excited to uh, share some advice about uh, how to succeed at Hartwick for incoming international students and share about her experience. Can play the video, please. Hi. Hi, guys. My name is Steven. Um, I come from Vietnam and I'm a freshman here at Hartwick College, majoring in the nursing program. I want to share with you guys my story, so hopefully, it will help you to make your decision. Talking a little bit about my first year experience, so far so good, and I think Hartwick is doing a really great job keeping everyone away from the COVID-19. Every student got tested every week, and um, whoever comes on campus has to go through a screening check. I am new, I am a freshman, so I'm adapting to the environment, especially the weather. It gets really cold here in the weather and you want to make sure you have warm clothes, you have your boots, you got to layer your clothes, put on one, two, three, four layers if you need, but a single t-shirt and a single jacket won't help. But it get warmer during like starting April, so that's good. A lovely thing that I like here on campus is the natural environment. So you're gonna see deers, you're gonna see squirrels, you're gonna see birds singing in the morning. That's personally to me is really lovely. We have a very unique campus. Um, we have hiking trails that call Table Rock. So every time you hear people say, I'm going to Table Rock, I'm going to Table Rock. They are going hiking. Me too. I went there three times already this semester and it's great. I like to get out of my room, get some fresh air, refresh my mind after an exhausting day, after an, a stressful day. It's good for your mind. It's good for your body. Just like a little. Okay, so. Talking about my major, I am a nursing student. Um, my experience with 
professor and classmates has been great. My professor, they are genuinely care about the student. They are very supportive. If you have any difficulty or you struggling during with studying, they are more than welcome to help you. And we talk about it. We discuss about it to find a solution. And the special thing about the nursing program here that I like and the bullet point. For me to make the decision to come here is that I get to study the nursing courses immediately starting my first semester, my first year, and I got to go to the clinical to do my nursing practice, um, in near hospital or healthcare center. It helps me a lot to improve my nursing skill, and personally, I feel so much more confident after just one clinic. Um, Okay. Oh yeah, about the professor, they have high expectation for you, and I think that's fair. Cause the professor want you to do good, and especially in the medical field, you don't want to make mistake during medical practice. Also, Harquick is a diverse campus. We have Asian student like me, and we have African American student. We have European student, but not a lot, and local student too. Um, everyone is super friendly and very welcoming. I make good friends with different students from different majors. I think that's all for my video. If you have any question, please write it down. I will try to answer it as soon as possible. Thank you. Bye bye. So I think the students say it best. Uh, and this is a great example of uh, one of our in most engaged students on campus who's just a first year student. Our international students, as Caitlin said before, really take full advantage of everything that Hartwick has to offer. Um, before we move on to the next portion of the presentation, I also wanted to mention that Caitlin, Dr. Sagasti Supes, myself, uh, and many other faculty and staff on campus have a tremendous amount of global and international experience ourselves. And we are delighted to meet with international students to learn about their culture, their language, their background, um, and help them to share that experience with other members of our community. It look, looks like perhaps, perhaps Dr. Sagasti Supes might say a word here. Yes, hi. I, I, am, uh, I am brand new at uh, Hartwick College. I just started on Monday. So, I uh, wanted Caitlin to speak for our office because I don't have the experience uh, to, I haven't met the students yet. I'm looking forward to meeting them, but I want to welcome you all. I have a lot of experience working with international students and I hope that, that we can connect in the future and that I can help you and support you once you arrive at Hartwood College in August. Thank you. Dr. Patty, so we'll move on to the next slide, please. Jim, we're going to talk next about the, the details of the academic experience at Hartwick so that our colleagues, our MSM colleagues um, and agents can understand um, the exact kinds of uh, academic offerings that we have here at Hartwick. So as a small liberal arts college with a very well qualified academic faculty, we're quite proud of our student to faculty ratio of 10 to 1. Uh, as we've mentioned several times, the college is both academically rigorous and world class in our aspirations and expectations for students, but it's also a welcoming and intimate place where students get to know their professors very well in a very short period of time. The average class size is only 15, and many of our classes are quite a bit smaller than that. And despite our small size, we also offer a full range of academic majors and minors in the sciences, the social sciences, and the humanities, with over 40 majors and 44 minors on campus. Next, please. We, um, among these programs, the most popular ones include nursing, biology, business, psychology, and criminal justice. In those fields, students have opportunities to do real world practical application of their knowledge. As our Vietnamese student mentioned, as nursing students, they begin their clinical work in the local hospital and local community health centers in their very first semester. 
many of our biology students are also interested in the medical field. Uh, I would say probably about three quarters of the students who major in biology are in allied health and go on to go to medical school or veterinary school or physical therapy school or a related field. So those students also have opportunities for experiential learning from the very beginning in our many laboratories on campus and also in internships and programs off campus. Our business program is especially well known for its connections to industry and the business community, both locally in the Oneonta area, but, out, but also throughout the United States and throughout the world. We have over 18,000 alumni at Hartwick College, and many of them are quite happy to welcome students to join them for internships, job shadowing, research projects, and class-based projects, especially in the business department. Uh, those relationships are quite robust and quite strong, and many of our business students go on to uh, find job placement with alumni of the college upon graduation. The last two of psychology and criminal justice are programs where we have a very well qualified uh, nationally recognized faculty that help students to do cutting edge research in these important fields. In criminal justice, this program is located within our sociology department and benefits from both CJ professors, criminal justice professors and sociology professors as well. But in addition to our most popular majors, we offer 40 more than 40 academic programs in the humanities, the arts, the social sciences, uh, and the sciences as well. And many of our students choose to double major or to major and minor. Uh, so it's not uncommon for a student to major in business and minor in theater arts or major in nursing and complete a minor in museum studies or public health, for example. We also have a number of smaller programs and unusual areas for an institution of our size, including cognitive science, a new program in environment, sustainability and society, an excellent program in graphic communications, which combines work in both the English department and in our IT department and the art department. And we have a unique Hartwick opportunity called the ISP, the Independent Study Program, where students can design their own major. So if there's something niche or very specific that a student is interested in doing, uh, we work together with them, their academic advisor works with them to design a customized and bespoke major that relates directly to their interests. Next, please. We also have for uh, Hartwick students a very special opportunity to complete the traditional four year experience, which is the norm in the United States. Hartwick offers a degree in three, where students can complete their full bachelor degree in just three years of full time study. Students in the three year degree program get priority registration, meaning they get to choose their classes first. This program enables students to save a full year of tuition and to start graduate school or their professional opportunities a year early. We have 27 participating majors in this program on campus. All of our biggest majors and most of our most popular majors participate. But no matter what you're interested in studying, we can work with you to complete it in a three-year experience, even if it's not one of these 27 uh, officially participating majors. The great thing about the Degree in Three program means that we've designed it for you ahead of time um, and mapped it out so that we know exactly which classes you need to take in which semester to graduate on time if three years is the amount of time that you that you choose for this program. Next, please. Our campus, uh, our main campus, as the video mentioned, is a beautiful 425 acres. In addition to that, we have the Pine Lake campus, which we refer to as our environmental campus. The environmental campus is utilized both for education, uh, for research, and for recreation. We have a high ropes course there. We have camping opportunities. Uh, and all of our students, including our international students, visit the Pine Lake campus early in their Hartwick experience as part of orientation. Over 30% of our students participate in one or more sports, and we have 19 NCAA teams. And we have over 60 student organizations, which are very active and which provide a wide range of um, activities for students during their time at Hartwick. Next, please. 
The college um, has over 18,000 alumni worldwide, and they're a very generous group. Mostly thanks to their generosity, we are able to offer over $60 million in financial aid, and over 95% of our students receive this generous assistance from the college. Uh, next, please. The last thing that I'd like to mention before we get to the details of the financial um, offer that the college uh, provides for international students is to just very briefly mention our new strategic initiative at Hartwick. If you look at the website and you explore a bit on your own, you'll see that there's a lot of information about what we're calling our new core offer of the flight path experience at Hartwick. Next, please, Jim. Flight path is a very innovative strategic offering that Hartwick is providing for all of our students. The idea with this program is that we're elevating the Hartwick experience and giving individual students the opportunity to really fully design and, um, and outline their own flight path, their own trajectory, their own path to their future. So the flight path program provides support to students in all of the areas that we've discussed today, in academics, in the co-curricular experience, and in what we refer to as their real world readiness. So the real world readiness piece enables students to feel prepared for graduate school or for their profession of their choice by providing them with specific support and opportunity to grow professionally um, in terms of their preparedness for their career throughout their Hartwick experience. Each student is assigned a career coach who works with them to develop their resume, to develop their electronic portfolio, to help them think through what kinds of internship, externship, and on-campus job opportunities would make sense for them. Um, these coaches also work collaboratively with the other coaches on the student success team, including their success coach, their academic advisor, and their alumni mentor. And together, this team of coaches help students to select exactly the right opportunities for them, enabling them to choose the right club to join, uh, the right minor, uh, enabling them to take full advantage of many of the opportunities that Caitlin described, to study abroad, to uh, benefit from scholarship opportunities for internships and travel. The Flight Path Experience also provides a number of large investments in uh, robust on-campus activities that benefit the whole community. So for example, in the sophomore year, students participate in something called the Hawk Career Hop, where uh, the Hop stands is the Hawk, Hawk Career Hop is an overnight program where students travel to Philadelphia or Boston or New York together with a group of a cohort of students from Hartwick and a Hartwick staff member and they learn about a particular career by job shadowing an alumnus of the college. So they might go to the fashion industry in New York City or to visit a bank in Boston or to work with a nursing program or something in the medical field um, in the Albany area, the, the state capital of New York. And during the hop career hop, they're really introduced to their future careers. Similarly, in the junior year, students have a summer experience and in the senior year, they have a capstone seminar together with other students to reflect on their flight path experience uh, and to prepare themselves for their future as alumni. Flight path is brand new at Hartwick. We launched it this year. Even in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, flight path has really brought energy, um, enthusiasm, and a lot of new resources to the Hartwick campus. Over the last year, we have hired 45 new staff to help support the flight path initiative and almost all of these staff are master's level or phd level qualified um, and they're providing support to students in these co-curricular and career areas uh, to support the excellent work of our academic faculty which was was ongoing even before uh, the flight path experience next please so before we get to the Q&A portion of the webinar, I wanted to speak just briefly about the application process, the scholarships that we have available, um, and the, the sort of logistics and, and mechanics of, of applying. Um, of course, our colleagues at MSM are, are providing excellent support to students um, as they work through the Common App and um, a, as they work through the experience that's described on this slide. Next, please. 
these are the tuition and fees uh, that are set for uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, the slide should read 2021 to 2022. Um, as a private liberal arts college, you can imagine that all of the co-curricular experiences and academic experiences that we provide for students um, are quite valuable and uh, the, the full cost of enrollment for the academic year at Hartwick is shown on the slide here. But we recognize that this investment um, needs support and assistance for many students to be able to attain. Next sl slide. So we're very happy to share that the, uh, that the college is able to support international students to afford Hartwick by providing an average of $25,000 to $37,000 in scholarships each year for each international student. This is part of the $60 million in comprehensive financial aid, which is afforded to all of our students. Um, we're also very happy to report that because of our partnership with MSM, that students recruited through the MSM partnership uh, only have to pay, uh, pay half of the usual application fee. We have a reduced application fee of $200. And also I wanted to point out that our merit-based award is presented to students at the time of acceptance. So there are no special forms or applications that are required in order for students to be considered for our merit-based awards. Next, please. So we encourage um, all of our colleagues working with us to recruit students to come to Hartwick to check out our online presence. As part of Flight Path, we have rebranded our website and really upgraded and updated a lot of the virtual experiences which are available there. So we encourage um, our colleagues to send students to the website so that they can experience quite a lot of it themselves. Uh, and now we're, we're happy to move to the Q&A portion of the webinar. We'd be happy to answer any questions uh, that folks have about Hartwick, about our experience, about the Global Education Office. So I'll turn it over to you, Jim. Yeah, uh, thank you so much, Dr. Patty, for this uh, <clears throat> wonderful uh, presentation. And also uh, the Vietnamese students' uh, experience was really enlightful for all, all our partner agents. So we have already started getting few questions. I would request all the attendees to share in all your queries in the Q&A session so that we will be able to discuss on the same. So the first question that I've received is that, uh, can you give a little more insight on what are the uh, uh, on-campus uh, job opportunities that international students get to work? Absolutely. I think I'll ask my colleague, Caitlin, to, to take this one because she's working directly with our current international students. Over to you, Caitlin. Okay. Yeah. So our international students, uh, they work a variety of different on-campus jobs. Like every time I go to the John Christopher's Cafe, I often run into some of our international students. And then also they have work in uh, like for facilities or for like they can be like a a tutor in their academic department, or they can uh, work in the mailroom or for admissions. We have a couple of students that are our blue key ambassadors. So they share about their, their experience at Hartwick with prospective students. And yeah, so every year uh, the students, when they, they can look at the, the work, there's a board of uh, uh, op openings for the different jobs on campus and they can work up to 20 hours a week. Uh, and then if they want to uh, work, uh, like off campus, like they do look into uh, different like curricular uh, practical training or OPT, and we can help advise them about those different opportunities. And we have several students that are doing like internships during the summer, like one student from Uzbekistan, he's going to be working for a startup in San Francisco. Uh, so our career development center also uh, provides a lot of support and advice for our international students. Sure. Thank you so much for that detailed answer in terms of the uh, on-campus employment opportunities. The next question is, what is the deadline for uh, international students to apply for fall 2021? Thank you. Thank you for that question. I, I think I, I will take that one. So our preferred deadline is the 1st of June because we feel that that gives us enough time for visa processes and, um, and the various uh, things that have to happen behind the scenes in order for a student to prepare and to arrive uh, successfully for us in the fall. However, we do recognize that because of the complications of COVID, 
um, and the delays in some embassies in, in processing paperwork and, and so on and so forth, uh, that sometimes the, the June 1st deadline might be difficult to attain. So we're happy to be flexible, particularly for very well qualified students. Um, and we could accept applications throughout the North American summer, even into July. But if we get much past June 1st, we, we worry that it wouldn't be adequate time for visa processing um, and travel arrangements to be made so that students could start successfully in the fall. So the short answer is the preferred deadline is June 1st, uh, but we're happy to be flexible. Sure, thank you so much. Uh, the next question is that, um, what is the uh, general procedure for students to get scholarship? If you can give a little more in-depth knowledge because there are a few questions that have uh, been asked on terms of the scholarships. Yes, of course. So as, a, um, as I mentioned in the, in the presentation, there is no separate application process for scholarships. Merit scholarships are considered at the time of application. So uh, it's, it's important for students to make sure in their applications that they document their academic experience well. In addition to their GPA, um, uh, they should be sure to list any awards that they've received, uh, any acknowledgments or uh, particular successes they've had in science competitions or writing competitions or other academic endeavors. Um, and at the time then that they submit the application, uh, their, their academic qualifications will be considered as part of the merit-based scholarship award process. Um, we, we don't currently have um, a formula for what level of GPA is equivalent to what kind of merit scholarship, but, but I can say that the most academically well-qualified students are the ones who receive the highest merit-based awards. Um, and we're happy to discuss on an individual basis with applicants um, you know, the specific awards that we're able to offer to them. But uh, I can say that the scholarship range that we provided in the PowerPoint presentation uh, is common for virtually every student that applies to Hartwick. So uh, it is not unusual for students to receive a very substantial merit-based award. Uh, you know, usually the, the smallest award is about 25,000 US dollars. Sure, thank you so much. The next question is that, uh, uh, as uh, in the slide it's mentioned that the tuition is 47,370 US dollars for four years. How would uh, uh, the tuition fee be for majors uh, where students take it for that three-year completion program? So uh, it'll that one year's tuition fee and the living and boarding would be, uh, uh, means it, that won't be uh, applicable. So that's the, the question is that, uh, is it uh, same, will it be the same for the three years as well as the four years or will the amount change? Yeah, so that's a that, thank you for that for that excellent question. So to clarify the the fees that we showed um, during that slide, which showed the the fees for the academic year, that's a per year cost. So uh, the, for the full four years of experience, it would be that cost multiplied times four. Um, so for the students who are participating in the three year degree, it's a twenty five percent discount off of the total cost because they can subtract the cost of tuition plus the cost of room and board for that full academic year. Sure, thank you so much. The next question is from one of our attendees from Vietnam. Uh, the, the question is that uh, when can the student arrive on the campus uh, for this fall, uh, uh, given the conditions of the pandemic? So I'll let Caitlin answer whether we have set a specific deadline for uh, a specific date for student arrival. I don't think we have, but Caitlin or, or Dr. Sagasti Supis. So I believe right now our plan is to have welcome students uh, to arrive in the airport on like August 21st or 22nd. And then we would start our international student orientation right after that. So towards like mid to late, mid, or late August. Sure. But perhaps I would I, add, go ahead. I, I would just add that we have a, a double orientation. So international students would get an orientation with Caitlin and with me on the 23rd 
and 24th. And then afterwards, there's the freshman orientation with the broader campus. So you're able to build a community with other international students and then join the rest of the uh, freshmen and build community with them as well. Thank you for that, Dr. Sagasti Supes. I will also add, because I think part of the question may have been whether these dates will be affected by COVID and, and the COVID situation. Um, so I will also just clarify that just this week, Hartwick College has, has announced the decision that all, of me, all members of our community will need to be fully vaccinated before they engage in face-to-face -face classes on campus. So this applies not only to our students, but also to faculty and staff. We have taken this decision because we think it is the best way for our campus to remain safe and for our students to have the full residential college experience next academic year. So we are requiring that all members of our community be fully vaccinated with one of the vaccines that is currently approved for use in the United States uh, before they come to campus and interact physically in a face-to-face -face way with other individuals. We do realize that for some of our international students, this might mean that they need to be vaccinated once they get to the United States. And uh, we are working on provisions to provide isolation housing for any student, international or US, that does not yet have the vaccine so that they can be in quarantine during the time that their vaccine is being onboarded into their body. Um, and so that during the waiting period where they're, uh, until they're fully vaccinated, uh, they can be supported on campus, but they will not be able to interact face-to-face -face with other individuals until it is safe for them to do so. So uh, we have not yet set a formal date of arrival for international students who would like to try to arrive in advance of that international orientation, uh, but I anticipate that we will be able to do that, that we would be able to accommodate international students that would like to arrive earlier in August in order to get the vaccine and then be fully vaccinated before the start of orientation. So we'll provide more details about that as they become available to us. Sure. Thank you so much. Uh, the next question is, can you just uh, give a brief about uh, the admission process? Like uh, the, there is no application fees and what are the GPA requirements that are needed and the, the further process? Yes, so we follow, thank you for that question. We follow the, uh, we encourage students to use the common application. Um, and um, we, uh, in terms of a minimum GPA, we recognize that different international schools have different systems and different scales, um, and that a GPA in one location isn't transferable necessarily to another location. Um, so we don't have a minimum GPA um, uh, other than a, a, you know, a, making sure that students are academically well qualified. We do say that if students have a GPA that's lower than 2.5, we want to make sure that they have a supplemental essay um, and additional support materials which explain uh, why it is that they feel that they're academically well qualified to be successful at Hartwick College. The application fee of $200 um, helps us to, to process those materials um, and to provide the support we need for each applicant. Uh, and our turnaround time is quite quick, working together with our colleagues at MSM uh, we usually are able to get a response back to applicants within um, a, a week to two weeks time. Sure, thank you so much. So uh, the application is, uh, the application fee is, uh, it is free, but when it comes to the I-20, that is once you uh, submit your financial documents, you need to pay the 200 US dollar deposit to ensure that uh, the student is serious. So this is the application process. Just to update, uh, the English requirement scores are in IELTS, we require a minimum of 5.5. 5. 5. If it's a TOEFL uh, uh, based on internet, it is 80. Uh, on a paper base, it's 550. Uh, SAT score is 420 and an ACT score is 21. This is about the eligibility in terms of uh, the English language test. Now, uh, the next question is, um, uh, um, um, is an educational gap that is after completing your grade 12 if a student has got an educational uh, gap of two to three years will that be a constraint for um, uh, them to be admitted to Hartley college the short answer to that question is no uh, we feel very strongly that we want to be welcoming to students of of all ages and and all backgrounds 
we would of course recommend that in those applications that students explain what it is that they've been doing in that interim if they've engaged in professional work, if they've had caregiving responsibilities at home, um, if they have pursued other educational opportunities in their own country that were not degree granting, um, please just encourage students to, uh, to tell us their story and let us know what it is that they've been doing during that time. Sure, thank you so much. Uh, the next question is, uh, if you can just give an update on uh, the, uh, is a international student mandatorily required to stay on campus? And a little features about uh, the uh, stay on campus uh, facilities that are being provided. <clears throat> so I'll just answer briefly by saying that yes, students are required to live on campus, not just our international students, but our US students as well. We uh, really value the residential experience and we invest a lot of resources in providing great opportunities for students to engage socially during that time. I might ask Caitlin, who is actually working on campus at the moment, to say a little bit more about the residential experience and um, and what students, uh, what living on campus is like. I know you're not living on campus, Caitlin, but you're working with students um, who are. So could you share a little bit about what that experience is like? Uh, yes, yeah, so I visited a couple of the dorms and they're really beautiful and nice uh, different options for students to live in like singles, doubles, triples, or or even have like their own like apartment style housing. And two of our international students are actually currently resident advisors. So they uh, they have their own room and they're responsible for helping take care of our uh, other students that live in the dorms. And as part of that, they actually receive like all of their housing is covered. Um, so that's a great way for students to uh, save money. And um, yeah, so the, the residential life department, they put on a lot of like great events and also the RAs, they do a lot of programming to help the students uh, get to know their, their fellows, uh, students that live in the dorms and um, engage with uh, different things. And like Patty mentioned, there's also the Pine Lake campus. So that's also an option. Students can live there. And then it's about maybe like a 10 minute drive and when, and then they can go from the beautiful uh, Pine Lake cabins and come to campus for their classes. Uh, so yeah, it's a really beautiful campus and we have a wonderful view of Oneonta and the, the Catskills. So uh, I encourage you to definitely come take a look. Sure, thank you so much. Uh, as we are running out of time, there are a lot of queries that have come in through. Uh, so our admission executive uh, who would be uh, connecting with you, all, all of the attendees, with the complete details of the, uh, the admission process, uh, her contact details will be shared in the chat. And also we'll be sending individual emails for all the attendees. I've seen a lot of uh, questions that have come from the Vietnamese uh, attendees requesting the uh, video of the uh, mm -hmm. student testimony. We'll be sending across the link to you so that you can promote it in your region and get more prospect students. Thank you so much um, uh, for all the attendees to attend it. I'll request uh, Dr. Patty, uh, uh, Dr. Patricia, and uh, uh, Caitlin for your uh, closing lines for this webinar. Great, thank you so much, Jim. Um, we were delighted to share a little bit about Hartwick College and the Hartwick College experience for international students. Um, and I'll just say on, uh, from my perspective, that we hope that many, many more international students will join us to make our campus an even more vibrant place. Caitlin, over to you. Yeah, I want to thank everyone for attending and our student. She actually really wanted to join us today, but due to the early hours, a bit challenging uh, since she still has classes later today. But uh, if you have any questions for her, you're also welcome to get in touch with me and I'd be happy to pass along your, your questions. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to uh, work with you. I know that um, being a new person, I didn't have a lot to contribute today, but within the next month or two, I, I, I should get up my feet under me and be able to answer any questions. Um, our office will be one of the primary places, actually probably the primary place that you would uh, connect with uh, in order to help us help you to serve the students. So if you have any questions, um, you know, we will share our contact information and we're very quick to respond. Uh, thank you so much uh, for, uh, for this wonderful uh, presentation, Dr. Patty. So before we sign off, we at NS MSM are very excited to have partnered with Hathwick College. 
for those agents who are viewing the recorded version, uh, uh, please uh, uh, do send in your queries and also we'll update you on all the upcoming webinars uh, related to Hathwick College. We will request you to um, uh, view our website, uh, our Facebook page, LinkedIn, Instagram pages for getting more updates on all the upcoming events. So once again, uh, thank you uh, so much for all the attendees for being a part of this uh, launch webinar. And we hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much.